What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to give you five offer up packs that'll make you more money if you're selling on the app in 2021. So if you're selling on the app and you're finding that no one's contacting you or you're finding inconsistent results, please stick around for the rest of the video so I can give you five packs to get more money inside of your pocket. So without further ado guys, let's just get into the rest of the video. Let's start with number one. Wait, wait, wait I forgot. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, say thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoy videos like this. Hit the like button if you find any value in this video as we go along. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's just get into number one. Number one is to be to take consistent pictures. So not only is it important to take good pictures, but consistent pictures give you sort of a branding and it'll allow people to get, it gives you a more professional look as people are scrolling through the app and probably will allow people to pick your uh, listing as opposed to all the others with people who are just hands in the photos, they have blurry pictures. How many times have you been on the app buying something and you see a blurry or really bad picture taken and you just move on to the next one? I'm, I would more likely pick something even if it's a little bit more expensive with a more professional and higher higher aesthetic to the listing uh, rather than someone who's listed twenty dollars below with a really really bad picture it's just how the human psyche works obviously taking good pictures helps branding is definitely a big thing have a consistent look through it offer up is sort of like instagram nobody really goes into the people's profiles but if they do go into your profile and they can see consistent pictures of whether it's a uh, behind if it's a blank wall before it's a behind this wood uh table a consistent look will definitely give you more professionalism sort of vibe to your to your profile it will hopefully increase into giving you more sales Number two is gonna be SEO or search engine optimization. So if you don't know what SEO is, it's basically a way to increase traffic to your website, to your posts, to your listing, whatever that may be. It's just basically a fancy word that gets people to whatever you're trying to sell. Not only is it important to have a really good description for your listing, but keywords play a big role in getting people to your listing and to your profile. Not only is it important to have really good descriptions for your listings, but SEO and keywords are actually a really good way to get people and more traffic to your listing as opposed to someone who doesn't implement these strategies. Keywords are also used to get you to rank higher in the search engine list. So when someone, uh, let's say uh, Air Force One shoes, uh, your listing will uh, be appear at the top or near the top if you implement more keywords in your description and in your title. So for instance, if you're selling a Wii, you don't just wanna put Wii in your title and description and that's it. You wanna put Nintendo Wii game console and in the description, put the title again. Try to do it organically, don't like flood the, the uh, description box with just like keywords that'll just look wrong. But put Nintendo Wii console, put a uh, white Nintendo Wii console, something like that that'll get you more specifically to the top of pages where people will more likely to pick on you to click on your listing and with your branding already with consistent pictures they're more likely to engage in uh, with you in that sale than somebody else who doesn't implement keywords and stuff so here's an example right here of one of my listings that I put just something simple it doesn't have to be too much um, but to really engage the engage the algorithm on offer up you want to put um, the color of what you're selling you want to put everything that'll get um, sort of any some imagine you typing something in the search bar whatever you think someone would type in you want to put that in your description so that if someone puts just red console or white console it appears at the top of the list so that people are more likely to click on your item all right so the third hack to selling on offer to get you more sales is to update your listings so if you're like me, I have posts on there and listings that have been there for about seven, eight months that are just sitting there that I forget about because I'm posting this other stuff or I'm posting site on um, posting things on other sites. So those really get forgotten as I'm posting new things. Now this is a tactic used a lot on eBay, but it's really just going back to your old listings and updating the price, updating uh, just information, just putting more keywords, uh, just changing the title a little bit, just something that'll get you more engagement that you weren't thinking of at the time because a lot of the times maybe, maybe you were rushed posting that item, maybe you were rushed posting that description, just put a little bit more uh, detail, a little bit more uh, effort into the overall field. Uh, if you gotta read list the item uh, take it down and relist the whole thing it might be a little bit of, of a pain but if you already have the picture saved somewhere it won't be that much much of a big deal a lot of the times if you have an item that said that says posted 11 months ago some people are probably not gonna uh, engage or try to even uh, message you to see if the item is available he's like well that's almost a year ago they probably don't even have it anymore so you don't want someone to come to your listing thinking that so always update your listings always revise them go back 
um, on offer up there's an option uh, there's an archive button if you don't even like the listing anymore just archive it and just get get it off the archive save it for later and then you can go back to it and repost it if that's what you want to do but yeah adding keywords relisting updating the listing definitely a tactic you can use to get you more sales on offer up so number four is to be responsive being responsive is a great way for people to know that uh, what you're you're taking what you're selling seriously. I want to go with somebody who's taking like a couple days to respond. If you respond within the first couple minutes, couple hours, uh, people really like that. So those they get back to you and they that. Uh, you're not wasting their time sort of i know people i know it's kind of weird but people really think that like oh they don't really care about me they don't want, they don't want, they're wasting my time nobody wants to feel like that so being responsive is really key um on offer and getting more sales being responsive also gives you an additional perk on offer up it gives you a sort of title on your profile that says response within this hour response response within an hour um so it really gives people um just sort of clarification like, oh wow this person really responsive uh, they'll get back to me soon they're not going to ignore me so they'll tend to want to go with somebody um, who's actually more responsive than somebody else. Another important thing with being responsive is that even if you're late to getting back to a message, whether that be uh, it was an hour ago, a couple hours ago, even a whole day or two days ago, always respond back even if you're late. Be genuine about, hey, I didn't see your message. Say you missed it. Say you were at work, you were driving. I just totally forgot. I be completely honest. Most people will be okay with the honesty and will more likely be willing to continue the negotiations or talks or answer the questions. Um, I usually be like, hey, sorry, I missed your message. I'll put it right here. I miss, hey, sorry i didn't get back to you um, i'm just following up are you still interested we can still work it out you know something like that be really genuine as long as you're genuine and honest and kind people will really gra gravitate towards that and will uh, most likely continue the negotiation or whatever they're trying to buy from you like i said before nobody likes to feel like they're being forgotten or their time is wasted so you really want to be kind have great customer service uh, the better customer service you have you have like a business more people are gonna tend to go with you rather than somebody else who has like a couple reviews with no response time. Um, it's definitely an easy way, an easy hack to get you more money on offer up. Number five is going to be to overshoot your price. This is just a tactic that I use on the app. A lot of people do it differently, but essentially we all do it the same way. But basically, if you're selling something for 100 or if I want $100 out of the item and I know it's worth that, I'll put it at 120 or 130 on offer up because I know people are going to try to lowball me, whatever that means. But you know, they're going to try to lowball you and get you around sort of like a Everybody wants to feel like they got a good deal. So they're going to offer you like 100 or 90, 80 dollars, something around that range. So because I know that, I'm going to price it a little bit higher just so I know that if someone comes in with an offer of $100, I'm going to accept that or even doing a little bit of haggling just to get a little bit more or something like that because that'll make the buyer feel like they got a deal. I got my money out of it so everyone's happy. When I say this, I don't really mean it to be manipulative, but you always want the buyer to feel like they won. Um, don't go over crazy price them. Just if, as long as it's within the ballpark of what that uh, item is going for at the time definitely a good tactic to lead to a consistent and good sale so yeah overshooting the price is a good way to tap into the psychology of people and just having everybody wants to feel like they got a good deal like i said everybody wants to feel like they got the better end of the stick same sort of different tactic that some people use is to set a pro, uh set a margin of what you're comfortable selling the item at so let's say you're at a hundred dollars and you don't mind getting seventy dollars out of it right if someone throws you an offer of 80, you're going to be like, eh, I don't know, that's too low. Uh, what else can you do? Like, oh, that's 80 is the most I can do. All right, that's fine, because at least that's at least higher than what you're willing to pay. So whatever that margin is of what you can sell your, your uh, item at to get a consistent profit, keep that number in your head that when you're going into negotiations, it'll really help and lead to a, eh, get, a, get you a more consistent sale and easy feel so that everyone feels like, oh, it was, it was a good negotiation and we ended up at the same place. Either way is fine. I use the first tactic. A lot of sellers use the second. Either way, it's the same thing. Overshooting your price is definitely a good tactic uh, that you can implement to get you more money. So yeah, guys, those are the five hacks that I use to get more money and more sales on offer up. Hope you guys can implement those and get some more money into your pocket. Again, if you find any value in this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe for more informative videos like this. If this is your first time to the channel, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy videos like this. Uh, but without further ado, like always, guys, oh, follow me on Instagram. DM me questions. DM me. Follow me. If you have anything about OfferUp, hey, is this legit? Is this guy uh, Is this guy trying to scam me? Please DM me. I get to all DMs. Like I said, uh, I always say I, always, I have a full-time job, so uh, I'm going to get to it as soon as I can, but I will get to it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one.